Here are the results for some people who didn't find out. The flip-flop was the heaviest and it was the heaviest because look, it's closer down to the ground whereas this funny hairband is up in the sky. Okay, so the hairband is lighter and the flip-flop is heavier. So boys and girls, we are going to be investigating things that are the same weight. So we'll be using things from around our houses and seeing how much they weigh. You've probably heard people talking about maybe flour, it weighs 100 grams, or you've maybe heard people say that they weigh so many stone. They're all different things that we use when we talk about weight. But today we're not going to use kilograms or grams, maybe those things that you've heard of, but instead we're going to use some of the things that we have around the house to measure the different weights. So at the moment, as you can see, both sides of my scales are the same level. They look the same. Another word we know that means the same as is equals. So I put my little crocodile equal sign in the middle to help us remember. Okay, so we're going to weigh our first item. So I've got with me some sellotape. I'm going to put sellotape in one of the sides of the scales. Okay, so at the moment, the scales are not equal. They're not sitting at the same position, sure they're not. But we need to make this size or this side the same. Okay, so we want them to both be equal. So I'm going to get my marbles. And we're going to, we're going to count how many marbles are in the other side to make it equal. Let's count with me. So we've got one, two, it's moving already, three, four, oh it's starting to look a wee bit equal now, let's try one more, five, what do you think? We can see if one more makes a difference. Okay let's see what's next. Do you know what? I think six marbles has made both sides equal. So now that both sides are the same, we can decide and we can, can we can tell we can tell that the cell tape weighs about six marbles. Okay, so now we know the weight of our first item, which was the cell tape. So let's try another one. Okay, so both sides of the scales are empty again. So we're gonna weigh our second item. So I'm gonna put it in one of the sides again. There we go. Scales aren't equal. They're not at the same level. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna get our marbles again. And we're gonna try and make this side the same. Okay, count with me. One. Already it's moving. Two. Ooh. Let's try a third one. Three. They're starting to look a wee bit equal now, aren't they? Let's try four. What do you think? So now we know the cup weighs about four marbles. So for your main activity, I want you to turn to the page called Weigh It in your numeracy maths pack for this week. Choose six items from around your home and find out how much they weigh. I know that not everyone will have marbles at home, so here are a few other suggestions for you to use instead of marbles. To be honest, it doesn't really matter what you use instead of marbles, just make sure that whatever you use is roughly the same size. For example, make sure your crayons are roughly the same type or the same size. Okay P2, so my challenge for you is I want you to estimate how heavy Mr Elephant is. How many marbles do you think it's going to take to make both sides of the scales equal?